I am told that the flyover may occur during my comments. If it does, I'm going to stop talking and we're all going to watch and enjoy it. And then I'll resume my comments. Well, I want to thank you for joining us here today, all of you, as we pay tribute to the Ohio soldiers who were lost in the service to our country during this past year and a special welcome to the loved ones, the moms and dads, children, brothers and sisters, friends of those who were lost. Our fallen service members came from every corner of the great state of Ohio. They were an army captain, a private, two sergeants, two specialists. They were a marine captain and two Lance Corporals. No doubt, they had different backgrounds and they may have walked different paths, but what unites them and what unites us today is more profound than any difference that may have occurred in their lives. They were some of Ohio's bravest and finest. And I want the families to know that they served our state and they served our country with honor. And today we honor them. Their loss represents a debt that we can never repay because they gave of their lives for all the rest of us so that we could continue to enjoy the fruits of liberty that this country bestows upon us. To the family and the friends who have lost a loved one in military service, I think you probably have a special bond with each other, just as our gold star mother has indicated that none of the rest of us can ever enter or experience. You know the void that is felt when someone is taken in this way. You know the anger that flows from the fact that a, a good person, a wonderful, decent, caring, loving, kind, gentle person was lost to us. I had the opportunity to meet with these wonderful family members earlier today. And I heard about one young soldier who was so kind that he found a crippled duck, took it home and nursed it to safety, and then that little duck adopted him as his parent. As his parent. I'm sure you all have <coughs> stories and memories which you carry around in your hearts, memories that are at times painful, but memories that are always precious because they are times that you shared with your loved one. The pain that is experienced by family, even as their son or daughter is deployed, is a burden. They carried that burden as they saw their sons and daughters leave us leave the safety and security that is home, that is Ohio, and go to a different country, a different culture, to fight a war. And now they bear the loss, but they do so on our behalf. And that's why it's appropriate for all of us to gather here and across Ohio and throughout America on this Memorial Day weekend to remember how fortunate we are that there were others who were willing to pay the ultimate price for us. To the families, thank you for coming here today to give us an opportunity to express our appreciation and to show honor for your loved one. Why our words are never sufficient. Whatever praise we may 
extend through our words may be sincere, we recognize that words can never be enough. It is my hope, dear ones, that in your loss, you take comfort and you find strength in knowing that your loved one was doing what they chose to do and that they did it for you and for us. Several of the families expressed to me that their son or daughter have entered the service because of 9-11. One mom said to me this morning, you know, my son said to me, Mom, I just want to go and try to make the world safer for you. It's fitting and proper that we honor such love and devotion. And so, Memorial Day is Monday, and it is a time to reflect upon sacrifice. Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, those who have long enjoyed such privileges as we enjoy forget in time that men and women have died to win them. But today we remember and we are thankful. God bless each one of you. God bless the memory of your loved one. God bless the great state of Ohio. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.